Howdy folks, I'm Eric. I'm Jordan. And this is North American Adventures. You join us today in beautiful Florida. We are just south <laughs> of St. Petersburg. Got our kayak here. We are going on a short day trip through the Shell Key Preserve. It is a bird and marine life preservation area. So we're hoping to see lots of wildlife here today. It should be only like four or five miles uh, if we do a full loop around the island. So let's get on the water. As you can see, it is low tide right now, so we, uh, it is quite mucky in the sand here. Just gonna walk her out a little bit before we hop in. There are a few keys along the way. One there's right in front of us, another here. We're gonna be going out more that way, towards the southern tip of Shell Key first, and showing you the beach there. And we're ready to go, hitting the water. Just after 11 a.m. We've got this kayak for four hours. That will be plenty of time for a leisurely loop around Shell Key. We're planning to hit Irma Pass and do a little swim there. More on that later. You can see it's still very shallow and lots of seaweed in this area. But it's not slowing us down. Jordan's pumping. We are now passing Sister Key on our left here. And then we're gonna have, head straight to the southern tip of Shell Key right there. Got a nice little beach you can see in the distance. So we'll be there in no time. Now we have Summer Resort Key and a smaller unnamed key here in front of to our right as we are approaching the southern beach of Shell Key. Only half a mile left. See you soon. You can see the tide is so low that we're having tr trouble approaching the southern beach here. We need to sort of meander our way around the sandbar in front of us. We might end up bottoming out as I say that so we'll see if we have to get out and just walk her in but we'll get back with you dead fish not a great sign still trying to meander our way over to the beach all good things take time We found our angle of approach, it's a bit deeper, hoping to make it all the way in. Gorgeous. Here we are, land ho. <laughs> the deluxe treatment. Woo! So we've pulled up to the southern beach of the public access for Shelky Preserve. As you can see, you can camp here, but you need a permit. Since we're just doing a day trip, that's not necessary. We're gonna do a short little walkabout on this area, see if there's anything of interest, and then head back out and wrap around the island.
And we're off again. gonna head up the gulf side of the island in here up to Irma's Pass and then we're gonna stop there and go for a swim. So far the water has been very peaceful and calm. The weather is gorgeous. It's like 75, 76, very little wind. You can see we have some company out here. I imagine it's a popular spot. You can see there's a plethora of dead fish being washed ashore. Not a great sign, really. <laughs> Not really. To the south of us here, you can see the Fort DeSoto Park, where we have been staying at the campground a few nights lately. And you can see here, the public access is quite popular. It is a uh, Friday though, so take that into consideration. Now that we've reached the Gulf side proper, you can see ocean as far as the eye can see towards the west. And to the north, we have St. Petersburg and then Treasure Island further off in the distance. We're gonna be following along the coastline here for a mile, maybe mile and a half up to Irma's Pass where we will dock the boat and go for a swim. And then maybe we'll just cut in that way and head back to the parking lot from there. You can see the turkey vultures are coming out to claim some fish. Looks like they found a nice spot there on the beach. Did you hear that? Wow. <laughs> Sorry, it's a little shaky. <laughs> right it looks like they were, yeah. Oh, there. Yeah. Yep, on camera. On yeah. camera. We got dolphins, baby. There must be a school of fish right there. Yeah, the birds are flocking as well. Yep. Seeing some fins popping up. They're feeding. Oh, yeah. You could try. Look at that. There's at least four or five. And then there's one over there to the left a little bit further away. Just look where the birds are, that's where they're gonna be. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> we just found a bunch of dolphins. Looked like they were feeding as we saw lots of birds in the area as well, looking to get their fill. Super cool, they're actually just off to our left here still, only maybe 100 yards off. Just peeping their little fins up here and there. We did get one tail slap on cam, so <laughs> that's pretty dope. We're gonna continue forward here to Irma's Gap, and then maybe go for a swim. It appears that the red tide is quite strong at the moment, as you've seen all of those dead fish, it is some sort of bacterial bloom that sort of comes in with the tide. And then it's not so good for your skin or your eyes if you go for a swim. Looks like lots of seaweed. We've arrived at Irma's Pass here, created by Hurricane Irma. It literally took out a section of the island, so now there's a little waterway you can swim through. We are going to be exploring the north end of the island this way, so we're just gonna cut through a little bit here, and then it opens right up to the beach.
Well done. We found a bit of a bird carcass here. Quite large, but you can see the wings there and sort of like the shoulder blades. Yeah. Pretty cool. We've reached sort of the northern terminus of Shell Key. You can see St. Pete's Beach just here, where we have been in the last few days. Quite a nice beach. And then you can see quite all the civilization stretching south towards Fort DeSoto Park. So this is a very populated area, so to speak. Not nearly as much wilderness as the Tiger Key area we've visited previously. But gorgeous nonetheless. We have seen lots of animal wildlife, uh, birds, lots of dead fish, obviously. So we're just going to make our way back to the kayaks and then deliberate if we're going to have a swim or not and hit a mangrove tunnel on our way back to the parking lot. We made it back to Irma's Pass, had a little swim and a snack. Now it's about 2 o'clock, we have high tide in our favor, so we're going to be going back in that direction, back to the parking lot. There are just thousands of birds out on that sandbar there. Right, now we have Summer Resort Key straight ahead in front of us here. We're going to wrap around this tiny island that's just in front of it here and then there's supposed to be a little mangrove tunnel in that channel there so we're hoping to show that to you and then we just have to cut across the bay and drop off the kayaks in that direction <laughs> look at that folks it's just like a river of dead fish in the distance <laughs> aye, aye, aye. Not what you want to see. Okay, folks, we have found the mangrove tunnel aforementioned. You can see the canopy stretches out overhead. We're going to take it nice and slow and duck our heads down. It looks like we'll have to, honestly. <laughs> this is awesome. There's our exit. <laughs> it's pretty toy. Now, we're just gonna be wrapping around the right edge of this island here, and then turning a little more left and heading towards the kayak launch. Probably about a mile or so. This has been a gorgeous day paddle, folks. Minus the dead fish. This is a crazy shot. I'm like so low to the water that I'm getting all of the depth. <laughs> so there's just like a sea of dead fish. As we are leaving the final key behind us, we just have to head straight forward here. You can see there's a little opening over there, 200 yards up from the Tampa Bay Watch. 
as the guy said, so this should be a perfect heading. Less than half a mile across this little bay here, and we'll be scot-free. There's the buoy from the first shot coming out, and you can see the opening straight ahead. The launch! That's the launch, folks. Hit the turbo! All right, and that's it, folks. Do me. Ooh, spa treatment. Thank you. All righty, folks. Just made it back to the kayak launch. It was a perfect day for a paddle. Only ended up taking us about three hours and 15 minutes to do a full loop of the Shell Key Preserve. Uh, we stopped at Irma's Pass, which you could see was created from Hurricane Irma years past. And it basically tore Shell Key in half. We saw plenty of different bird species along the way and a lot of dead fish. A few living ones on the way back out. Thankfully. And dolphins! And plenty of dolphins too, that was crazy. They seemed like they were out fishing. So that was super fun. They were just splashing about, doing some tail slaps as well. <laughs> we're super excited we got to see dolphins. Now we're going to be heading north about two hours to the Crystal River, hoping to see some manatees. Jordan and I have been waiting a while for this, so we're excited. Fingers crossed we can see some. Uh, if you're enjoying the content, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe down below. And we will see you in the next one.